Hi everyone. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's okay. Um, I'm just trying to be really quiet because my husband's asleep and stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I've not seen you in ages. What I was watching, but um, yeah, I'm back, renewed, refreshed. Um, so let's get this cracking. Um, so basically, today we're going to talk about a particular situation. It's a, it's under the love category. So we're going to talk about love, but obviously love has many aspects. It's got different aspects. And we're going to talk about one specific aspect, specific aspects. And today we're going to talk about the aspect of when you like a guy and you feel like the connection and there was something there and he just switches like he just stops talking to you the reason i want to talk about this is because with my talks i always want to talk about something that i'm living so it's more real rather than something that maybe happened to me two months ago and i don't feel it as much so i'm going to talk about i want to talk about something that i'm, I'm facing at the moment so i just feel like it's more you know it's real so yeah um as usual the structure is we're going to talk about what it is first so you say there's this guy and you guys maybe went out for once like went out once somewhere you met up or something i don't know like you feel there's a connection so this guy's your friend very much he's just someone that you know you talk to you know like friends not like you can call him your friend maybe he's your friend actually but then you know you've met up and you've gone out like to eat or something or for coffee or whatever and you've met and you felt the connection you was one on one he told you about himself you told him about yourself and it was a very good you know connection guy or girl whoever is watching and you feel like yeah this this is this is this is good this is this is cool yeah i feel the connection so just say you met up on saturday and you're gonna see each other again on sunday for some reason at church or friends gathering whatever and to you on monday whatever date and then you feel like yeah okay you know we met up i felt the connection now we're gonna be closer and we're gonna be yeah we're gonna be closer and then you met on sunday and then it was just like <laughs> nothing it's like you've never met up you never met up it's like you never shared a moment you know even if it's not about sharing secrets it's about sharing a moment where you know i disclosed myself he disclosed himself nothing he goes past you he may say hi or may say not he says hi he's like hi and you're like yeah hi and you feel like you know he's gonna ask you about what happened with that thing you were telling me about and you ask him oh so what happened with i don't know your project at the end how what happened with your mom what happened with your brother you, you feel like asking those questions and he just goes oh it's cool like he's just being weird so this is the situation i'm talking about and worst of all it just gets worse and worse and worse like it just stops talking to you he just stops saying hi and it just worse and you're just trying to figure out why is that the case what happened along the way you're trying to figure out i'm gonna so this is the situation we're talking about this is the scenario now what's happening to me is so like that there's this guy i thought yes there's a connection we friends i feel like something happened and you know maybe because i like you makes it even worse but you know what i mean like you know this is trying maybe yeah there's a connection something happening there's something something you know something and then nada zero niente nothing like just nothing i see you he says he says hi you think he says hi no he just goes past me and in my head i'm thinking oh maybe there's something wrong maybe there's something wrong i did maybe it's the way i don't know Fifty thousand reasons come through my mind and i just thought okay let me just ask him you know are you okay hey are you okay are you okay what's going on and he just goes yeah i'm fine why and i'm like I don't know because you went past me and didn't say hi but you know i'm not gonna say that because then it'll be awkward officially so let's just keep it undercover awkward i'm like i don't know because you know you just you just seem different i don't know are you okay it's like yeah okay so how are you doing and the conversation and the conversation flows and it's normal again and the next time you meet each other you think okay now nah, it was normal we ended a good note so now we're gonna be okay no just back to that awkwardness back to that on seriousness of life and i'm just like what's wrong with this boy we're not 15 like why are you doing why are you doing this what's wrong with you do you get what i mean and i don't know so solution to this issue he just has to let go because i did because at the end of the day the first thing that used to think i was like oh maybe he likes me that's why he's like so weird and he doesn't know what he's saying and you know maybe that's why cause when we're face to face like when we because he tests me and stuff so like oh you would test it's cool he's funny when we see each other face to face he's you know he doesn't know what to say he's nervous you know 
all these kind of things and you go like you you, you wallowing that you're like yeah that's that's the reason why he doesn't say hi properly and doesn't really talk to me in public because he because he's shy and you think all these things so you make up excuses for his disrespectful behavior because it is it is disrespectful not saying hi to someone you know you know that's rude and then you realize no 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 even if that was the case because i don't know i'm not god so even if that was the case that he's shy whatever doesn't give you the right to be rude to me if I like someone, if I see the person, I say hi because we know each other. If it's a crush, like the popular guy that I don't know, that's different. But if we know each other, we've been out on a one-on-one. -on -one, so we had the one conversations. We had one-on-one -on -one conversations. We, we, are, we, I feel that there's a connection. Not that we're close, but there's a connection. And you see me, you don't say hi, which is the basis of human relations. Even with someone that you don't even like, you say hi to them. Do you know what I mean? And for you not to do that, I think that's just rude, beyond rude. So that is not more i'm shy he's shy oh, let's make an excuse because he's shy this is disrespectful because one thing i hate is lack of respect and i think not saying hi to someone that you know at least saying hi you, don't have to, you know what you don't even have to make a conversation just say hi to me hi are you okay cool everyone goes it's different ways no no even hi it's just unnecessary so what do you do with a situation like that i mean i was gonna say confront it but the same people that are just like, you're not gonna get anything out of it. But I advise, you know, ask the person, find the right opportunity. Obviously, when you do that, you have to find out the right time and the right place to do this. There's a time and there's a place to do everything. So you need to make sure it's the right time, it's the right place to do this. And you ask them, are you okay? I don't know, because sometimes I feel like, obviously, with the nicest voice you have, because I'm a, I have quite a harsh voice. When I'm irritated, when I'm like frustrated about something, I can get really like loud and harsh. So, you know, get the nicest voice, the nicest tone, <laughs> the nicest words. And you go, you know, some, I just feel like, are you okay? Because I feel like it's something weird, like, you know, before, you say hi to me all the time and now you don't like i just feel maybe it's just me maybe it's on my head but i just wanted to double check with you is everything okay you know and if he goes yeah of course it's okay because obviously he's gonna say that you know sometimes maybe he'll tell you but most of the time he'll be like yeah it's cool i'm like are you sure because if there's anything you can tell me you can let me know da, da, da. just you know give all the chances for him to say something to be able to say what he really feels you know what i mean because there must be a reason if someone does something like that or that or whatever it is just just let like, give them a chance to explain it. if they explain themselves then that's great then you can find a middle ground you can talk about it you can sort it out you can explain yourself you can explain yourself and you can sort it out if he doesn't say anything it's like it's cool it's cool it's cool then well you've done your part of asking him you've done your part of saying everything you know? and obviously obviously if they come to you you're not going to give me an attitude and be like kissing your teeth and all of that if they come to you like okay hi and you're like okay cool okay then that's it you keep it as short as possible because i don't know how you guys are but i am the kind of person that i'm black or white there's no gray for me so if you're gonna start talking to me then i'm gonna feel like oh we are friends again and then the next time you do the same thing where you don't talk to me and then just like what's going on so either you talk to me you don't talk to me so if you come to talk to me and you're like hi trying to be like oh, i'm gonna speak to you but i'm gonna keep it as short as possible because i don't get into that place where i feel like oh there's a connection when clearly there is not you guys are meant to be friends and you're meant to be together or meant to you know be connected as in having a relationship whether it be friendship or romantic relationship then something's gonna happen that will make you bring out your point of view and he's gonna respond to that and maybe from then you can actually be friends and be eventually in the relationship then if not then you guys are just meant to not to be in each other's lives in that close way and then for this reason we can move on to the next person in life there's always loads of people. At the end of the day, I realised that I've learned that with one person that's rude and weird, there's always one person that's nice and just gets you before you... You don't have to explain yourself. They just get you, you know? So, at the end of the day, like I always say, focus on the people that really, really care about you and then really get you and they're ready to have a relationship with you and be friends with you than the people that you have to force them because you know friendship relationship romantic relationship whatever it has to be any relationship has to be natural and the fact they have to force it and even force and say hi force it just play your jokes force it forcing anything like that's just not relationship anymore that's just a task and relationships are not supposed to be tasks it's supposed to be flowing you know obviously there's always a level of commitment but that's under subject but they're supposed to naturally flow that's why you can be you can say yeah she's my best friend she just gets me or she's he's my friend he just gets me obviously you have different kind of friends in life but i mean either way either no matter the level of friendship or relationship whether you're really close or you're just acquaintances no sorry no matter where you're really close or you're just normal friends they always 
there's there's always a level of understanding if you get what I mean. And even if you're just acquaintances, you're not even friends, at least you say hi to each other. That's what healthy normal people do. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Let me know. Let me know, like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff. And just yeah, just let me know what you like to hear and you want to talk about. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.